Welcome to the all I never did single play world. I'm Decoy and I hope you are ready to relax. Today I don't really have a main project in mind. I've just been into this grindy mode, you know? Just grinding for hours. Maybe put on a podcast or a live stream. Do you ever do that? Hello Fedas. I thought we should start by going out to you need to go under the donkey boat. <laughs> I thought we should start by going out to the desert area, because I need sandstone. This is one of my grindy projects. Okay, fat ass, stay. Don't teleport away. So this is where I go when I need sand or sandstone. All right. Inventory full, plus a chalker box inside of here. So now let's head over to the jungle. And we'll just leave the sandstone here. I'm not going to do any more mining today. But look at this, all this area that is now spawn proof. What we instead will do is to cut down some jungle trees because we both need to clear this area and we need wood for beehives. Alright, this should be a couple of beehives at least. And the rest we can dump in here. Next stop, the nether outpost. Here we are. I've mined all of this land away since uh, last time. Doesn't it look nice when the landscape has opened up to the lava lake like this? And now we'll transform all the logs to wood. And let's see how many beehives we can get. Ha! Huh. <laughs> This is usually what happens. You need so much wood for the beehives. But these should be enough to finish the floor at the library. And this is the honeycomb farm we built last time, if you haven't seen this before. Oh... Oh no. <laughs> Hello, dolphin! <laughs> oh, it followed me all the way here. Ah, why does it always break? Was this you again? I actually think it's only a bit of string that is missing. It's just one. Yes, let's try again. Woohoo! <laughs> that is so much fun. Hey, let's start with the top floor. More grinding. And that's the last one. So it didn't quite cover the downstairs here. Hey, what are you doing? This guy is always on play breaks. But the upstairs here is completely finished. Oh, this floor looks so nice. Oh, it's sleep time. <laughs> Do you want to see something funny? I've removed all the beds here because I don't want any more iron golems. But I need to sleep sometimes, so look at this. <laughs> they all want it. I also got a lot of uh, planks back, so we can use that to make more beehives. But there is one more thing I would like to do here in the library, and that is to repair the picks by trading for glass. So there's no shortage of emeralds. Maybe we can trade for some lanterns as well. That's always a good thing to have glass and lanterns oh yes one pick fully repaired and the second one repaired so we'll put the lanterns here and maybe we'll keep four stacks of glass make them red and use them at the nether outpost so as you can see here this is the portal to the jungle. The railway isn't 
quite finished, but I think we only have... Oh, I don't have the nether boots. <laughs> so slow. I think we only need one more stack and then we have enough. Now this is more like it. Woo! So what I will do now is continue grinding again. Ah, oh, the gold farm always works the best when I just arrive here. So maybe I'll start mining away some of this. Wait for the gold farm to fill up enough to make a stack of rails. Well, I didn't do any mining. I've been mining so much here lately. I did, however, extend the nether wart farm here. And I also sadly realized pigmen <laughs> spawn here. I thought these lights would be enough, but apparently not. So I'm trying to add trapdoors. But to make trapdoors, we need wood. <laughs> so I also built this little contraption. Here we can get some bone meal back. I remove these trapdoors when I use this. Bone meal the nylium to get the mushrooms, and then bone meal the mushrooms to grow the trees. The glass here is perfect because the trees, or huge fungi, grow straight through them without destroying the glass. So if they are taller, then we can reach from down here. We can just climb up and continue up there. But I think we have... Hey, <laughs> those are my bees. Enough gold to make rails. I think we'll just take this row. This will give us 60 powered rails, I know from experience. Also sticks, dust. We'll make the ingots first, the power rails. 60. So I'm pretty sure this will be enough to finish the rail all the way to the jungle area. And then all we need to do is continue this tunnel. <laughs> oh, so hold your thumbs. Oh yes, we will have some left over as well. Hmm, okay. So I'll figure the design out. I will probably just copy the the one we have over at the outpost. Taking a little test ride here, and as you can see, I've just built up the basic structures to see where the station would end up. And here we are. This worked out without the hiccup. Ooh, that's scary. Let's just add this pane for now. That's pretty nice, actually. And I think we are ready now to start transporting villagers. I would like to use the railways because that's faster. But we could also go by boat all the way. We'll make it so that the villager can't run off in any direction. And hopefully this won't end in disaster. So I want to try something here. All right. Woo! <laughs> oh! Best roller coaster in my life. I know that there are villages along the coast here somewhere. Here we are. You will do. Whoa! Oh, jeez! <laughs> no! <laughs> oh, I'm awake now. Can we... Get him without hurting the villager. Oh yes. That was scary. Okay, here we go. Woo and doot. Great. Perfect. Continue please. Oh, almost. Yes. Whew, I am a bit nervous. Okay, here we go. And we can run after him. <laughs> Please, guests, be nice. I think my boots are about to break all this running on the soul sand. 
Yeah, look at that. The good thing is we can start trading with this guy and repair the boots. Okay, let's put the boat here. And hopefully we'll, he will hop in. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, this is even more nerve-wracking. Uh, this is a better view. <laughs> let's see if we can go inside. I prepared an area for the villagers. Can go down here. Yes. Um, boop. I hope we can see these. Nice. Okay, let's start repairing the boots. Nice. The boots are more than half repaired already. We might add some sort of roof uh, to this place eventually. But this was a nice way to transport them in here, actually. So we'll probably wait with that. And we can just sneak out here. No problem. Oh, hello. So nice, because we are overflowing with the rotten flesh. It's in these chests as well. So that was actually easier than I expected. So I think I'll transport some more villagers here. Alright, last villager. And I actually traveled all the way to a savannah village close to Spawn Town to get this one. Of course I wanted a splash of color because as you can see here, three of the villagers have that boring original color. Where are they? This brown coats. I took them from a desert village, but it must have generated before the village and pillage update. So they have, you know, the original boring clothes. These are the new desert clothes. And this is a nice savannah jacket. So I've unlocked all of them, except for this new one, of course. And all the rotten flesh is <laughs> gone. I've also traded with uh, all of these stuff. You can actually sell nether wart, but that's one of the last trades all the way down here. I have also started to buy uh, bottles of enchanting, so I will try that at one point. Just throw it down and repair my tools that way. So let's get these, actually repair the wings and some emeralds. And you can get your profession clothes, please. It's a gossip mode, so we might need to wait for a bit. <laughs> I don't know why they all try to go this way. Maybe it's the barrels here. Well, that's not your profession, man. There we go. Okay, let's trade what we have. Buy some redstone and some lapis and some glowstone. <laughs> We can actually sell gold eventually, if this farm will get insanely effective. So the whole reason I brought these villagers here is of course to have another way to repairing my tools than to go to the ender ender. Because when I have mined out a big area, both my pickaxes will be almost broken. And it's just nice to be able to stay in the area. Oh, I almost forgot. I have some more netherite, actually. One ingot at least, I think. Yeah. So I think it's time for the pants. Or did someone say that pants are more like underwear in uh, American? I know the word leggings are more like underwear in Swedish. <laughs> Very strange. Boop. And so nice to take the railway instead of running. So I hope you feel relaxed. Thank you for being with me in this episode of All I Never Did, and I'll see you next time.